Wisconsin, Iowa. Okay, now we have, uh, uh, we want to take you on a little tour, I believe is what's up next. A little tour of Christ Vision. And as we do, we're going to share with you what's happening here at Christ Vision as well. So uh, if we'll run that tape and we'll take you on that tour and I'll take you with you. I'll be part of that. We start out by looking at Judy Baldner. Now Judy does a lot of work at Christ Vision. She does a lot of uh, what we call producing the tapes. In other words, uh, taking them and getting ready for air. And there's Mel. Uh, well, actually, if you can see Mel, you know, he says, get the camera away from me. I don't want it. Because he's not sitting on a chair. He's sitting underneath. And he's, uh, he's, he's uh, one person is knitting, and Mel is knitting wires, actually. And then we got Willie in the video, in the audio room. And he's got his hands on every button you can conceive of. And I'm going to tell you what, that's a big button board indeed. And uh, it's got a lot of responsibility to go along with it. Uh, that's, what, that's, that's all that puts this together, except you don't see the cameras. Well, we're going to go outside. And we're going to go to uh, Rodney Johnson. Because as we go outside, we're going to be uh, inspecting the the production of the roof that's right the repairing of the roof we've got the pigeons now out and I believe if I can say that without uh, uh, any uh, uh, trepidation it's uh, they're out for good we've got the pigeons out and we've got the roof up and we were working on the roof even as I speak uh, Rodney Johnson Steve and Paul Mullins of Carthage and uh, again uh, Maybe if you have your, your, your binoculars on, you'll have a, a picture of Mel there, too. Uh, I think Mel's somewhere. Uh, uh, and, uh, and Mel is, usually can be found anywhere from underneath the, the controls to on top of the controls to on top of the building at Christ Vision. Mel's been here since the beginning, and he is certainly one who keeps it all together as well. Uh, we have so many people working toward... Uh, making this a a presentation that is both on the outside a testimony to God's glory as well as on the inside. We want people to go by this building and we want them to see not uh, so much that it's Christ's vision. We want them to see that it is a building that is reflecting where the love of God comes from. And that isn't in, in stone or brick, I know, it, but it's in people who inhabit it. And uh, we began this whole uh, tape by showing you the people that inhabited it. Uh, we're on top of the roof now. No, we're on top of the pavement. <laughs> I guess uh, this is the first time I have actually seen this tape. We're now getting on top of the roof. Now, I, you see, that's probably why it's the first time I've seen it, because uh, I, I've never gotten up there myself nor do I ever want to get up there because it's just not my type of uh, skill. But uh, it is certainly the skill of those who are up there and they are getting the, that roof repaired so that when the weather comes, we are able to maintain this building, this magnificent old building that has a history of, uh, of, of uh, pointing to Jesus Christ. You take a look at the steeples, that's the whole idea of the steeple. It's pointing to Jesus Christ. When you fold your hands and pray and you put your fingers, press your fingers together, you're pointing upward skyward to Jesus Christ you're making your own temple your body is the temple that houses the Holy Spirit the living God and it all is a reminder of that and that's why we work so hard on it so that we can present it to you but that is basically the the repairing of the roof and we want to show you that the dollars that you give us inch by inch we ought to say uh, the dollars that you give us yes Anything is a cinch. I believe uh, 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 Schuler said that first, but I think it's it's expressed best in this latter experience. Inch by inch, anything is a cinch, and it is going to be indeed just that. All right, now I want you to know that we're doing that to show you that we're not just sitting on the dollars and the support that is coming into Christ vision, but we're actively utilizing it to its best so that we might accomplish much. We do it by use of volunteers. We do it by use of, of uh, 
getting people to help us with uh, everything except uh, and we, we do have to put the money into the materials as, as we put it up. But I'll tell you what, there are a lot of people who have a lot of skills who have dedicated it to, not to Christ's vision but to their Lord as they have sought out what to do first with the formula that we've been stating all afternoon. First seeking God, first praying, first asking for the wisdom and then looking for the direction because God will always provide it. If any of you lacks wisdom, James says, uh, if any of you uh, d doesn't know what to do, go to the Lord and the Lord will be generous with the wisdom that he has. That's in the first chapter of James. If you want direction, if you want to know what your life should do or how you should affect others, what type of ministry you need to be involved in, especially in this wake-up time for the world in which we live, all you need to do is go to God first, and then if, if God is, is, is giving you a direction of Christ's vision, then, as Mel holds on with his dear life trying to get that roof repaired, then as the sunlight goes through the stained glass window and creates shadows of an everlasting God, and then if God says to you, I want you to help support this project in this community so that we might lift up my love to each and every individual who needs to hear it, then you need to pick up the telephone and you need to call the number 524-4327 and become a friend of Christ Vision. I'm going to tell you what, it took a good friend of Christ Vision to do the inch by inch anything is a cinch routine right there on the roof of Christ Vision. But that's a friend. That's a friend who not only gives of their time, of their talent, but also of the gifts that God has given them so that this broadcast may be brought into your homes this very day. Boy, I tell you, that's reaching out a ladder. That's what Christ Vision wants to do. Reach out a ladder so you can climb to God. Reach out a ladder so that you can find the fellowship of Jesus Christ in the many churches that dot our map here in Keokuk and Hamilton and Warsaw and all the vicinities beyond where God's love is manifested in such a way that you will never have to hang on for your life. You will be held on by an almighty God. That's what it's all about. And that's why that's why we're working hard each and every day. And that's why we're broadcasting this Sherathon right now to you so that you might know the truth. And the truth might set you free. Free of yourself, you know, we're our own worst enemies. Yeah, and if I were up there, I wouldn't be inch by inch. I'd have a lot of fear. It's just not where I should be, right there. I, I seek God's wisdom. But for those who go, God goes with them. They're brave. They don't have to worry. They don't have to fear because God is with them in what they do. Is God with you today? Is he watching over each step you take? Or are you just kind of out there existing and if you are just existing, don't you find yourself a little empty of who you are and what you should be doing? We want to help you do that. We want to help you find meaning for your life. Because each person who is breathing in this world has been crafted and created by a loving God for a purpose. And once that purpose is realized, the development continues until that day that we meet our Master face to face and He says, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. Now I place you over a lot. Well done, good and faithful servant. Isn't those words the words you want to hear? You can hear them every day if you maintain a relationship to Jesus Christ through God. You won't need to extend the ladder because God will come to you. You won't need to do anything except 
drink in his holiness, his love, and then reflect it out. You know, if there's one thing I want to do during this broadcast is I want not to have you see Paul Smith in reality no matter what. I want you to see the Jesus in Paul Smith in reality. Even as you view this video, this documentary of getting the roof repaired, I want you to see not a bunch of people repairing the roof, but I want you to see the God who is working in those people who are putting that roof together so that the elements might be covered and nothing disturb this message. That's what I want you to see. So open up your spiritual eyes, not just your physical eyes as you view this program. And you will see visions of truth that you never realized were there before today. Praise God. Become a partner. Well, how do you do that? Become a, a person who helps us. How do you do that? I'll tell you how you do that. You do it by picking up the telephone. But not first without picking up with prayer. You know, we're asking you not to do it because we tell you